Shamarafik, you are watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look. Climate emergency, the most extreme weather events of a 2021, a wide range of natural disasters struck numerous parts of the world this year. From deadly floods and wildfires to the record-breaking rainfall and temperatures, countries including the United States, Greek, Indonesia and China, among others, have all been affected. Jan Saki, White House Press Secretary, says that she has a COVID-19. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says she has contracted COVID-19 and is experiencing mild symptoms. In a statement on Sunday, Psaki said she was last in contact with United States President Joe Biden on Tuesday when she met him in the White House where they were more than six feet apart and wearing masks. Biden, who is tested frequently last, tested negative on Saturday according to the White House. Saki 42 did not accompany Biden on his trip abroad to Rome the weekend for the Group of 20 Summit and Glasgow, Scotland on Monday for United Nations Climate Summit. Saki said she had planned to travel with the President but scrapped the trip just as he was got to depart of Europe after learning that members of her household had tested positive for COVID-19. Since then, I have contained the tested negative for COVID on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Saki said in the statement, however, today I tested positive for the COVID. Saki, who is fully vaccinated and she is only exhibiting and mild symptoms. G20 says the climate threat urgently critical offers modest steps. Leaders of the world's biggest 20 economies have agreed to tackle the critical and urgent threat of climate change but angered activists are by offering the new concrete commitments of a limit global warming. Wrapping up a summit in Rome, the leader of G20 pledged on Sunday to stop floating coal fired power plants in poor countries, but set on timetable for the phasing it out at home. They agreed to cap the global rise in the temperature to 1.5 degrees centigrade above the pre-industrial average but made only a watch commitment to see carbon neutrally by around and a mild century. G20 leaders endorse global minimum tax on minimum businesses. Leaders of the world's 20 biggest economies have endorsed a global minimum tax of 15% on a big multinational businesses. Joe Biden, the President of the United States, who is in the Italian capital for the discussion, hailed the tax deal as a game changer. USA and EU agree on the steel tariffs to help on climate changes. U.S. President Joe Biden and European Commission had also won their line, agreed on a crackdown on a dirty steel and a left tariff on a bit crop carbon emission and repair transatlantic relations. In a joint appearance during the G20 summit in Rome on Sunday, the American and EU officials said the agreement represented a new era by raising a diplomatic and economic power we can reject the false idea that we can't grow our economy and support American workers who are tackling the climate crisis, Biden said. Pakistan reaches agreement with the ban TLP to end violent. Pakistan government has reached an agreement with the law for a right to a big Pakistan party putting an end to 10-day protests that resulted in violent clashes. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi and religious leader Mufti Munibur Rahman took part in he talks about but did not share any details of the agreement at a news conference in the capital Islamabad on Sunday. Detailed and positive results of the agreement will come before the nation in a week or so, said Rehman, who said he had to understand of TLP and party leader in Saad Rizvi. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. This is TV USA. Allah Hafiz.